Okay, so while it's not usually the literal first thing I do when I roll out of bed in the morning, I do tend to start my days by making a cup of coffee. However, this morning is a little different. I mean, I'm already filming and I haven't had any coffee yet. And that's because I have a package to be opened and I'm pretty sure it has my new coffee brewer in it. This guy right here. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering what the heck kind of coffee brewer can fit in a package this small. Although if you watched this video, you probably clicked on this video, which means you probably saw the title in the thumbnail, so you know exactly what's in that package. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna open this thing up. I'm so excited to uh, see what this thing's actually like. There we go. Anything extra? There is an extra. Looks like a coupon code. Didn't mean to hit the camera with that. All right, Jogo. You know, part of me thinks that this is a great idea, and part of me thinks that this is just gonna gonna end horribly on, on a practical level. All right, let's get all the goodies out of the bag. Little Jogo sticker. Why do we always start with the stickers? Who cares? Here it is, the Jogo coffee straw. All right, so here's the straw. We've got a silicone tip, which is removable. Okay, so it's got a fully metal reinforced silicone tip. That's actually kind of weird. I was expecting it to be like, I don't know, a more substantial piece of silicone that would then marry to the metal, not like a, a metal, I don't know, duck bill, whatever you call that, that the silicone just kind of covers. Curious how that's gonna hold up over time. Okay, and then we have the metal filter basket, which you unscrew and looks pretty straightforward. I guess you can get replacement filters. I just bought the one because I didn't want to throw too much money at this if it was actually gonna be a terrible coffee brewer. I figured I could always buy more later. All right, time to get this clean and make some coffee. Okay, so the brewing guide here is really kind of pathetic as far as the instructions go. Adjust the amount of grounds to your preference. For each five ounce cup, add one rounded tablespoon of medium to coarse ground coffee to your mug, pour hot, not boiling water into your mug, and stir with your Jogo. So seeing as those instructions are pretty minimal, I decided to do a 60 grams per liter French press grind. So I've got 12 and a half grams here. We'll put that into our cup. And again, coarsely ground just like French press. Get this on the scale, tear that out, and then my kettle just came off the boil. So I'm gonna add 208 grams of water. That gives us 60 grams per liter, pretty standard French press brew. All right, here we go. Get it all mixed up. Oop. 205. Close enough. Eh, what the heck. Let's see if we can get three more grams. Boom. 208.3. We'll start the timer. And I'll see you guys in four more minutes. Although, it's gonna be way too hot to taste, but I guess we'll, we'll break up the crust and kind of see what's happening. All right, so like I said, I brewed this exactly the way I would do a French press. I gave it four minutes and then I broke up the crust and then I gave it another four and a half, it's been about five minutes now, to let it just cool because, um, you know, it, I, I'm afraid of burning myself pretty badly with this straw because um, you don't know how hot it is until it hits your tongue. And I suppose this is one negative I can say about this whole design is that when you use a straw, it's hard to predict the temperature of the liquid uh, nearly as well as when you're drinking out of the, the lip of a glass. You have the same problem when you use like a disposable cup from a cafe or even a reusable cafe cup with a lid on it because you don't really know how hot it is until it's like right there in your face. So. I, but I think I should be good now. The grounds are pretty well settled and the mug is hot to the touch, but not not totally unbearable. So it's still plenty hot, but all right, I'm gonna shut up and taste it. Cheers. Tastes like coffee. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like, it tastes like a French press, which is 
exactly what you would expect. It's an immersion brew, I mean it has to be, and it's metal filtered, so you know, it's not gonna taste like a V60, it's going to taste like a French press, pretty much no matter how you do this. And I think it's worth saying that I like a French press, but it's nowhere near my favorite style of coffee. However, this does taste really good. It's got a really nice texture to it. If you love the oil rich, kind of just unctuous mouthfeel of a French press, then you know, this is this is gonna give that to you without actually needing a French press. So obviously this is my one experience with this little guy, but I would recommend it. I think this thing's really cool and I'm definitely gonna take it camping because all I need is coffee, and my grinder, and this thing, and I like French press well enough to be drinking that for a few days when I'm camping. And especially, I mean, if I was going backpacking, I wouldn't even bother with the grinder. I would just pre-grind some coffee and use this guy. That sounds great. On a day like today where I just built in some extra time to my morning to be able to film and make coffee, this doesn't really make sense. But like this whole week, I've been working on my house, doing insulation, I'm starting drywall later today. It's really convenient, especially when you're tired and burning the candle at both ends, to just roll out of bed, grind some coffee, throw it in like a, like this Yeti here, pop the straw and a lid on it, which I double checked, and the ring right here is the same diameter as a Yeti straw, so this, this straw will fit with the Yeti um, straw lid. I've said Yeti way too many times in a row, but you just pop your coffee and hot water in this, stick the straw in it, stick the lid on it, and boom, you're good to go. You just don't have to think about it. You know, it'll be ready to drink when you're ready to drink it, although you will probably need to add some cold water to it because this will keep it like freaking molten lava for the rest of the day. <laughs> It's kind of surreal drinking coffee like this.